my dreamers and welcome back to my channel. My name is Nancy. Thank you so much for watching. Today's video is going to be an unboxing video and this is the BoxyCharm Premium Unboxing. If you guys follow BoxyCharm, you guys will know that BoxyCharm collaborated with Fenty Beauty for this premium box and I am super excited about it. So as you can see, it says BoxyCharm times Fenty Beauty by Rihanna. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited for this one. I I was really really surprised that I actually got on the premium box for this month. Um, I think I had just got on gotten onto the waitlist um, last month. Um, and I actually made a video last month, kind of um, just ranting about it a little bit. But I never got to post it because you know a lot of things happened. The gist of that video was pretty much ranting about how Box Charm is just doing a little bit too much. Um, they're having just too many boxes now, like they have the premium box, they have the base box, and they also have the box deluxe box. And I'm just really feeling like they're really neglecting the base box, which is what I got originally. Um, but I canceled that one and I'm just keeping the premium box because I feel like the premium box just have so much more um, better products that I like personally. Premium box is $35, so it is $10 more. I canceled the Boxy Lux. I had the Boxy Lux too, but I canceled the Boxy Lux and the base box, and I'm keeping the premium. I think this was the best decision because I just really liked everything that was in the premium box, um, and I wasn't really happy. I feel like a lot of people were not happy with, um, you know, the base box, the products in the base box, and I was feeling the same way. I've been a loyal, loyal subscriber of Box Charm for a while now. Um, before they even started having like all these brand name products into their boxes, I was like a loyal subscriber already. So. Uh, I just really feel like um, it wasn't right, you know. Uh, I just I decided just to do this instead because I do still want to keep my boxy charm. Um, it just depends on which, like how much you're willing to pay and you know the value of each box is. So it's really just you know up to you. But for me, I'm keeping the premium box and I'm really really happy that I got this month's box because I got to try out more Fenty Beauty. I've tried a lot of Fenty Beauty products before. Uh, but I'm really excited for the products that are in here because a lot of these I have not tried. So yeah, I have the products in here. And let me just go over the list. As you can see, I have my brows and my foundation and concealer, all the base products on because I don't have any of that in this box. And we'll be going over these products. So we have the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter. This retails for $36. It's this really, really gold highlighter. It's so pretty. Um, and it is the Trophy Wife Highlighter. The next one is a Matchsticks Shimmer Skin Stick and it retails for $25. And we have this one and it is in the shade Chili Mango. So we have this really bright orange color that was in the box. Okay, then we got the Moroccan Spice Eyeshadow Palette. And this retails for $29. I've never tried any Rihanna's palettes before, so it will be my first time trying out this product. And I'm really, really excited about that. It's some really, really nice colors in here. This next one is the Gloss Bomb Universal Lip Luminizer. And this is in the shade Diamond Milk. It's really, ooh, juicy. Perfect on the lips for that juicy plump look. This retails for $19. This next one is the Matte Moselle Plush Matte Lipstick. I always wanted to try one of these lipstick, but I just never ended up buying it. It's a little bit darker shade right here. And this is, what shade is this? This is in the shade PMS. So it's gonna be a dark look, you guys. This last one is the Invisimat Blotting Paper. It retails for $16, so it came in this. I'm not the oily type. My younger sister did claim this product, so I will be shipping this over to her. Um, because, like I said, I'm not the oily type, so there's really no use of me keeping this. And I'd rather give it away to somebody who will put it to some good use. Um, so yeah, that is all that is in this box. I was pretty excited for this box, but then seeing some of these products, I wish they had included like, you know, other things to create more of a whole face look. Um, like the bronzer maybe, or like, you know, the foundation. I would appreciate the foundation. Um, you know, because it's like blotting paper. Not everybody has oily skin, so not everybody will use that. And they gave us two um, lip products, which I wish they wouldn't have done that, but you know what, we're just gonna work with what we have and I will have to just put in some of my own products into this video. So yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing me create a look using these products, then you know the drill, keep on watching. Right. So I've zoomed you guys a little bit closer to my face 
and we are going to create a look. We have the palette here. I love the packaging. It's really, really sturdy, and I, I love the design of this. It's very, very pretty. So I am going in with this peachy shade right here first to start off as my transition shade. This will be like literally my first impression of it. And so far it's not too bad. For $29, I think it's not bad at all. I'm going in with this nice reddish shade right here. This will be going on the outer corners. So far, so good. I'm really liking it. And I'm really liking the shades because they are really pigmented and really nice and it was really easy to blend too. Next up, I am going in with the gold shade right here. It's very, very pretty. Nice. I like this. It's really, really gold and really shimmery. I want to use the matchstick. This is the matchstick shimmer skin stick, and this is in the shade Chili Mango. I'm a little bit afraid of this, afraid of using this one because I'm not really sure how it's gonna be. And, uh, Okay, once you start blending it out, it just, it doesn't really show as much. Yeah, I think the fingers is the best bet. Actually, just putting my fingers on here instead. You can just guide your hand, your fingers. Okay, yeah, I feel like fingers are much better. I've never really used these type, you know, of blushes. I've always gone for the powder one just because, you know, I feel like it doesn't look good on me, but it's starting to become okay. It does take a while though because you have to really blend it out you know, without blending off your foundation. <laughs> I will be applying a little bit of my Marc Jacobs bronzer just because I want to bronze a little bit. Just a little bit under here. And of course on the forehead area. Yeah, I really wish they would also add like the bronzers. The next product I want to go in is with the highlighter and this is the Kilowatt highlighter. It's in the shade Trophy Wife. So I think it'll go really well with my eyes. Oh my god, so yellowy. Wow, it's also really shimmery. I mean, it's not the kind that I personally would use just because it's so gold. But I feel like it's acceptable for this look. I'm trying to go for that vibe. I'm going back to finish the eyes. Right, and I finished adding some lashes on my eyes. I got on the doe lashes, ooh. And then I also put some mascara on, on my lower lashes as well. And I also put the gold shade I have on my eyes on the inner corners. So everything is just really, really gold and pretty. And now we are going to be adding lips. And um, 
the lips that I got are more of the darker side. Like I said, this is PMS, so it's like the it's more of like a dark plummy shade. So let's just apply that real quickly on the lips. Oh yeah. That was pretty intense right there. See what it smells like. Right, so this is the lips, but I do have the gloss bomb right here in the shade Diamond Milk, so maybe this will bring down the darkness a little bit. Ooh. Oh, this is the worst. It smells so nice. Finishing off with the pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting mist. I love the mist, it's just so fine. All right, you guys, and this completes the look. And let's see. I like it. I really do like everything. Um, there's really not much complaints at all because everything applied nicely. I have nothing to say. <laughs> I really have nothing to say, but that I really did like how everything turned out. I'm really excited to see what else um, is going to be in the premium boxes. Hopefully they are good because the previous ones I was really excited about. Um, other than that, I really did enjoy everything. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you can be a part of our family here on YouTube. I'd appreciate that so, so much. And with that being said, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye!